So I built my buddy a PC. So basically the way that this all went down is uh, me and my buddy have been friends since middle school. Uh, we played a lot of video games. We've always gamed with each other especially. And recently we got into PC building, both of us. Um, you know, a little bit of PC building and a little bit of video editing here and there. Um, the only issue was, you know, I was gaming and editing on my laptop and he was editing on a very old PC and, you know, they were just, you know, not really good enough for what we needed to do. So I actually went, got around to building my own PC, uh, my masterpiece, which is back here. Um, you know, I definitely learned a lot from the experience and it was very, very fun. And if anything, it gave me a very, very big itch and hunger for more. I wanted to build more PCs and you know, really just dive into the whole, you know, PC niche. Um, so basically, I reached out to my friend and you know I told him, you know, get as much money as you can together and any money you can't put together towards a PC, you know, a solid video editing PC, I'll go ahead and front it for you. Um, by no means am I actually going to be buying this PC for him. You know, he's going to actually pay me back for everything. Besides one small uh, surprise that I do have for him, but you'll, you'll see that a little bit later. It was a really cool experience, you know. Um, he got to build his first PC ever. I got to help him out, you know, got kind of got to feed my hunger a little bit. But uh, this is kind of a breakdown of exactly how it went down. All right, so your boy got a little bit too carried away when he was explaining the PC parts. So I'm just going to break it down for you guys very quickly. Um, the first part that we're starting out with is, as you can see, the Ryzen 5. Um, this is a great 6-core, 12-thread processor. You know, we're going on the Zen 2 series, so as far as video editing PCs goes, this is a great CPU. You know, it's going to have enough cores and threads to allow him to get into video editing very smoothly. You know, he'll be able to finish projects and, you know, really do stuff without any problems like he used to have on his old computer. For the motherboard, we actually went with the MSI B550M Pro VDH Wi-Fi board. Now we went for this board for two reasons. Um, one, that it has Wi-Fi. You know, that's just very helpful for those that might not have easy access to a router. Um, and then again, that it's B550M. Uh, that means that it's going to be compatible with any future Ryzen uh, Zen 3 CPUs. Uh, so if he does want to actually go and you know upgrade to a better CPU in the future, once he gets really into video editing, he will be able to. So for storage, we went with the Crucial P1 NVMe M.2 drive. Um, you know the M.2 NVMe drives are going to be the fastest SSDs that you have access to when it comes to normal desktops, and you know giving him a terabyte is just going to give him plenty enough room to really play around with editing and you know learn very smoothly. Now for our RAM choice, we actually went with the Trident Z RGB series. Uh, we went ahead and got him 16 gigabytes, you know, two eight gigabyte sticks so that we can actually take advantage of that dual channel memory. Um, and another thing to be wary of if you're using a Ryzen CPU, you wanna go with the fastest RAM possible. So we went ahead and got him 3600 megahertz. This is gonna enable you to, you know, really edit videos super smoothly. You know, when you're rendering it, you know, going over, looking back at what you've done, it's gonna act a lot quicker when you're using fast RAM. So for the power supply, we went with the Tough Power Thermaltake 500 watt 80 plus gold unit. Uh, with power supplies, you basically just wanna get the best grade you can. You know, whatever fits your budget. I went with 80 plus gold so that he'd really, you know, have a stable power supply unit and 500 watts just in case you ever needed to upgrade you know, or add any more parts in the future. All right, now for everybody's favorite part, the GPU. Um, this is where you know we have the actual surprise for Adam. Um, basically to get a little bit more in depth of the story, uh, we kind of decided to build uh, this new PC around the GPU that he has now. Um, it's a 1050 Ti. You know, so it's definitely not a bad card, but considering I'm giving him this third generation Ryzen and, you know, I'm really competitive when it comes to gaming, so I really don't want any excuses from him. Uh, I actually went ahead and got him a 1650 Super. Uh, this is going to be one of those parts I'm not going to make him pay me back for, so it's going to be a nice surprise for him. 
Um, I'm actually hoping he's going to be willing to trade me his 1050 Ti for this 1615 Super. And that way I'll be able to, you know, use that 1050 Ti for a future, you know, budget build down the line. But otherwise, you know, I'm really hoping that he actually enjoys this uh, nice little surprise we got for him. All right, so the very last piece is the case. Um, we did go with the Thermaltake V200. Um, it's ATX mid tower. Uh, it's actually the PC case that I went with for my build, so you can actually see it in the background there. Um, it's a great case, you know, it has basically all the things that you would want in a PC case. Um, and plenty of room for good airflow, uh, plenty of room for upgrades. Uh, so overall I really liked it and he liked the look of it, so that's what we went with. He's going to be here in about an hour, so uh, I'll be back as soon as I'm introducing you and surprising him with that nice 1650 Super back there. What's going on everybody? With the man himself right now, Adam. Uh, say hello to everybody. What up, Mines? Uh, we, we forgot one step. Uh, you know, the OS operating system. We don't quite have a USB that uh, is open, so we can go ahead and get the OS on this computer very quickly. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and head to Walmart real quick, but I didn't want to introduce you guys before we go ahead and get into this build. Yeah. Getting excited. Uh, so we'll catch you in about 10, 10, 15 minutes. Word, word. So here we are back again. Uh, got to start this build, get everything going. And then basically the whole reason for this build, um, <laughs> here we got this 1050 Ti. Um, you know, but uh, to be honest, the only, the only crappy part about this build would really be the 1050 Ti. It's kind of what I'm like. That's all good. Kind of, kind of an old graphics card. We did kind of want to surprise this guy here. <laughs> For real, so if you're down and you're willing to trade me that 1050 Ti. Oh, what? Yep. And then go ahead and get the 1650 Super. Hey. Like we talked about. Hey. For real? Hey. So. I started getting tears in the middle of the stuff. Are you serious? What the fuck are we gonna do with this? If you're willing to trade it, just, um, <laughs> just for your like, you know, I was gonna keep it and maybe do another budget build in the future. For real? <laughs> oh, that's right. I got the 1650 Super, brand new double twin fan. So wait, you, you trade the same trade? No, 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 no. So like, so what's the? You don't have to pay me on top of this. Yeah, like literally, nah. this, this is me. Yeah, you gotta pay me back for this one. I don't know, bro. It's, it's definitely worth it. You can get your better FPS. Let's do this. You're with it, brother. Let's do this. Alright, where? Well, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get into this PC. Um, we'll be back in a little bit. Whew. Alright, gangsters. A couple hours, a little bit of stress later. We got this bad boy built. Um, you know, it ain't the best cable management, but we got stuff going. Now we're about to go head into my computer, get the monitor set up, and test this baby, see if we get it to boot. All right, we'll be back. All right, buddies. We got all set up in the room. Excuse the mess. It's a PC building day. If you ever build, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, this is the moment of truth, everybody. We got it plugged in. We gotta go and check and see if we know how to build computers around here. Ready? Hey, you press it. Game time! We know what we doing out here, cuz. Hey. Oh, we working, brother. We working. All right, baby. We up and running. Everything's a go. We're getting the games downloaded. Shoot. What do you think? Adam, how was your first PC build? Oh my god. Experience. It's about as long as I thought. <laughs> as long about as stressful, brothers. It's worth it. But definitely worth it. It's worth it. about to be spoiled as hell. Yo, yo, yo. What's Back going again. on, man? Back again. It's been been a solid week since we got this little baby here built. Brought it back to his crib. He's had a week to game. We got Warzone loaded up. We're playing all our games, League of Legends, RuneScape, game that you know what I'm talking about. Um, 
but yeah, man, I mean, I guess uh, we just wanted to kind of wait a week to really get his experience, see how he felt with the whole thing, how it's been. And just shout out to Carlos, if you need a computer done, go to this guy, because if you're going to get it done right, this is the guy to go to. You, know? you can't get that base knowledge, but once you get something like this, I haven't left this room. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed that little PC building experience. Um, I'm going to go ahead and toss a parts list uh, on one of these sides right here so you guys can get a full breakdown on all of the parts and you know how much they costed for us at that time. Um, but basically, you know, other than that, you know, subscribe to the channel, you know, check out my other socials. Um, I'm basically trying to just give you guys an overall ex consumer experience, you know, what it's like to be a, a beginning vlogger, beginning video editor, beginning, you know, snowboarder, um, you know, basically just kind of give you an experience of what it's like to get into all of this tech and show you exactly all that I'm learning. Uh, but thank you.